Hello everyone, it is Lisa from Lisa Grateful Me, and I'm excited. Guess why? Today is the start of my huge challenge. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I have some fun things to share with you today, and we will be stuffing some savings challenges. First of all, if you're new, please like and subscribe, and my returning subscribers, I would love a thumbs up and a comment if you have it in you today. So let's get going. So what is my big challenge? I decided as a savings challenge um, creator and Etsy shop owner that I would produce a new savings challenge each day in the month of March. And I am happy to show you today's saving challenge. Here it is. Isn't it adorable? I just love the little hula pig. <laughs> it reminds me of the little Hawaiian in me. And it just brings joy to my, to my life. And I had so much fun creating this. Also, look at this adorable envelope that goes with it. So if you are interested in following along with the challenges through the month of March, head over to the Happy Mailbox Company. There is a link in the description that will take you to where you can purchase this item and all the items that will be coming out. All right, we have some business to take care of. Oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I might. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Since it is March 1st, it is definitely time for us to take care of this February challenge. And let's do that. Let's put the money that we need to in here. However, we probably should count out how much money we have. I'm a little ahead of myself. So for today's stuffing, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. $178 plus I finished this mini savings challenge. Let's count that. There's 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 108 dollars as well so this mini savings challenge was a stepping stone to achieving a bigger goal and i am happy to say that we are going to add that to that bigger goal all right let's get moving the february challenge needs 30 dollars. so there's 20 25 and 30. I each month do a monthly savings challenge. Last year, um, each of my challenges were worth $75. I'm gonna put this money in here. And this year, um, I started this in March. So my next, um, my March challenge, that I'm gonna show you in a minute, is going to be worth um, $100. So I increased it by you know, $25 to push myself a little bit to see if I was capable of maybe saving possibly a little bit more. And I'm going to do that for every month of the year, which is really fun. All right, I'm gonna color in just these vases on these flowers and then a few of the hearts and we will call this Darling Savings Challenge completed and it has just been a delight to do this. February, I don't know about you guys, but February um, flown by in the sense that it was just super busy at our house. We had lots of fun celebrations and we had lots of fun get togethers and we just did a lot of things together as a family. And so it just made the month of February fly by. All right, I'm gonna color this last one right here. I love coloring these. Coloring for me is really therapeutic and it's just super enjoyable. In fact, off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and color all these in and just make it darling because there's some hearts and some roses that are just super cute. 
Okay, let's see how much money we have here. We should have $75. And we have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75 dollars. Now I use these monthly challenges to stuff my sinking funds. And so I will go ahead and do that on Friday and you'll get to see me add money to my sinking funds. All right, I'm going to put this aside and let's move on to the next few challenges that I have. Why don't I introduce you right now to March's challenge. So here's the envelope. Super cute. There's the back of it. And here's our little shamrocks. So this is what I will be working on in the month of March. If you'd like to join me, you can grab one in our Etsy shop. The, by the way, um, my Etsy shop is owned by myself and my daughter-in-law, if you don't know. Okay, this money right here is going into our sloth challenge. And our sloth challenge, I am um, completing this to pay off my debt. So my husband and I have a credit card and we have um, our mortgage. And our credit card's kind of big, so we're working on getting that down. I will do a debt update in the next couple of weeks, and you can see our progress. All right, so I'm going to color these in in increments of 20. And let's do 18 right here and a 2. So that's the first 20. Put that one down so we know that we did that one. All right, the next 20 is right here. The sloth challenge I gave out as a freebie when I hit 4,000 subscribers. If you are interested or wanting it, go back to my other videos and take a look at the um, one that says that I'm giving this away. And go ahead and click in the description box and print you out one. I love to give free things to my subscribers, and especially when I hit milestones and you help me reach those milestones. Okay, so there's our third 20. Now let's work on our fourth 20. Grab some colored pencils here. So here's the fourth one. Ooh, are we going to be able to finish this row of 18? Well, these rows of 18 and 2. Okay, so we got to do 20 more. 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, let's do one more. Okay, there's this one. And now this one. Do we have one more that we need to do? Let's see, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep, we have one more. So let's see, we started, we did one, two, three, four. Okay, so now let's do the last one. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I feel like I, I did it wrong. I'll have to go back and look in, on the camera and review the video. But if I did, just leave me a little note. <laughs> okay, now what is left is $8. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can color in an eight. And that will be the last one. Okay, so now in our debt envelope, let's get to it here. I made a sloth envelope that comes with this challenge. I need to print it out. My goodness, Lisa. Okay, so, so far we have 500, 1,000, and then this is 1,100. 20, 40, 60, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 72, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. So $1,182. And each time I get to $500, I go ahead and I put 
that money down on my credit card. Now, um, I would do this every time I got money to make my balance go down if I was paying interest. We are not paying interest on this card, and so I just wait till I hit $500. All right, that was great progress in this sloth challenge, and I'm very grateful for the stepping stone of this mini savings challenge. Okay, it is time to fund our Santa's Little Helper. If you're new to my channel, this is a, another item you can get free. Go back in my past videos and take a look. So during the holidays, our family, we are saving money. Each member of my family, there's 30 of us, and we're saving a dollar a week until um, Thanksgiving. And then at Thanksgiving, we're going to put all of our money together and be little Santa's helpers for a family or an individual. So I need to add three dollars today. One, two, three, for myself, my husband, and my son. We have five sons. All of them are married except for our youngest who lives with us and he's still in high school. So just if you're wondering about a little bit about me. Okay, there's that one. And now let's do this one. Actually, if you're new, I have five sons, like I said. And my husband and I, our anniversary is coming up next week. We will have been married for 32 years. Can you believe that? Isn't that amazing? It's awesome. Okay, so now our challenge so far just has $23, which isn't a lot, but it will add up. I think that we end up saving around $50 per person. Okay, this is a cute savings challenge that I got off an Etsy shop. It's counting my pennies. She's a single mom, and I know she would love some support. So if this is something you want to do, go ahead and head over to her shop. Now with her, um, with this game, there were some rules, but I decided to do things a little differently. Surprise. I'm going to color in each icon and I'm going to go ahead and um, do every single square so I can maximize the amount of money that I get. And my big icons are worth 10 and my small icons are worth five. So we're going to start here. So I'm going to do $11. I'm counting this icon and number one. So let's do that. 10 and $1. That is awesome. And we'll add that to this cute envelope that she has provided. So head on over to her shop. Show her some love and some appreciation because she has some really cute, cute stuff. Okay, so we did the big icon. I'm not gonna do anything to her. And I'm going to color in this number one. So a total of $11 in this challenge. Today I will be featuring another, well, um, yeah, another shop. I like to, even though I create my own savings challenges, I like to support other Etsy shops and other YouTubers. Okay, so that's that one. It's a start on the mermaid game. Now this is from Busy Lizzie Budgets. And the reason why I love this challenge so much is it was created by her daughter. And I just love supporting young artists. Okay, so this is how it's gonna go today. Let's see. I'm going to put in one, two, three, four. I'm going to put $4 into an envelope. Now I need to make one or grab one. And I'm going to make all of these Easter eggs that are that don't have a design on them worth and they're worth $1. So I need to color in 4. This little savings challenge I'm going to use to um help out with my Easter funds for my grandbabies. I haven't decided what I'm going to do for them yet, which is unusual. I'm normally really, you know, on it and have things all planned out and know exactly how much money I have. And I just haven't found quite the right thing this year yet. So if you guys have any ideas, 
leave them in the comments because that would help me. All right, so I'm gonna color in this one and one more. I normally like to do a book of some kind and before like I've bought him some clothes and a toy and gotten him baskets, but I just don't know. I kind of feel like something different. Is there something different that you do? Let me know. Okay, so there's that. Oh, and guess what? We have another YouTuber that I love. Her name is Kayla, she's my buddy. We, Kayla and I have been friends for a long time, um, and she has some fabulous things. So this is her cat pile up, and each of her kitties on my chart are worth $5. And I'm going to go ahead and put a five into here. We're just gonna do one today, and we're gonna do a white kitty, and we're gonna color its nose, it's just so, and it's ears, just so I know that this one is completed. And so there is that. We can see how much is in here. That's a good idea. So there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95. 95 dollars, which is totally awesome. Okay, our 100 envelope challenge we're gonna get to because I always leave that in the other room silly me and we're just going to add 10 today to the retirement challenge I'm gonna color in this right here and let's count and see how much money we have in here it's been a while since we've done that this is just a supplement mine and my husband's retirement I want to complete this at least one time a year, each year. So there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 20. 120 dollars so far. So it's a start, it's a work in progress, but it's gonna happen little by little. All right. We are down to the 100 envelope challenge. My chair is going to squeak. Hang on, give me just a second. Here we go. It wasn't too far away, <laughs> thank goodness. All right, squeaky, squeaky square chair. Let's see how much money I have. 20, 40, 60, 81, that is for taxes. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have $15. Let's see, this 15's already colored in. This 15 is not, or should we do two? Maybe we should do two. Let's see, let's do four. One, two, three, four. All right, I have these envelopes from Budget with Cat. They are darling, and Kat is just such a great person. You can go, go over to her channel, it's Budget with Kat, and tell her hello, and then I sent you over. Okay, there's one for $4. Put this right here. Just mark that so I don't forget. And this is five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11. Let's do another one for $11. Ooh, look how pretty this floral is. I'm ready for flowers. I'm just ready for some ooh, spring and beauty and all that. Okay, and let's do this one right here for 11. If you have a 100 envelope box, you can certainly use it to do my challenge, which is the 100 envelope challenge with a twist. It's numbers 1 to 25 repeated four times, and it, at the end you have $1,300. I have done the big 100 envelope challenge several times, and this time I just thought I would do something a little bit different. So that is why I chose that. All right, I need to get out my tax paper here. Okay.
Okay, this week in Etsy, our shop made $500. So I want to thank everyone for your love and support. What happens with that is I take 20%, which is $100. And then my, I take that out and then my daughter-in-law and I share the remaining balance. So she has a little family and I know that this money just helps them and it's just, it's awesome for them and, and for me. So thank you so very much. Okay, so we need to color in one, two, three, four, five. Five icons, because we are adding $100. Now each time this hits $500, I go ahead and I take the money out and I put it in our um, bank account that we have reserved for our taxes. I know a lot of YouTubers take out 30%. 20% um, seems to work out for us. And I don't know if I'll change that in the future. But for now, that's just kind of what we are going to be doing. All right, let's see, color in a few more of these. So last time um, I colored this in, I took the money to the bank. So I probably really don't have very much money in this envelope other than what we will be putting in here today. Let's see. This tax chart is so fun for me because normally when you have to put money away and you're giving it and not really feeling like you get to use it, this way it makes my money personal to me and it makes me see not how per se how much I'm giving away or paying out, but how much it represents how much I've earned and how much our hard work has paid off and how we have tried to, you know, follow our own little dream and being our own little owners of our own little shop. So that's how I like to look at this. All right, let's go the tax envelope here. Here's my Etsy envelope. Let's add this 100. And now it has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 5, 10, 15, $315. So there is actually more in there than I thought. Probably next time then I will be able to take the money and go ahead and put it in our bank account. Well, everyone, Thank you for being with me today. I hope you follow me on my little journey as I create one new savings challenge each day in the month of March. And I hope you enjoyed it. And here it is one more time just for you. Well, we will see you on Friday when we do our sinking funds and our yearly savings challenges. Until then, my friends, have a lovely day and be grateful. Bye.